people. Thanks for joining me on The Flex today. Um, and it's not one of them fun, fun shows filled with bombs dropping and me and KG having a laugh or or me doing a vlog or something like that. I wish it was. I wish it was. Um, but I'm here to address, um, finally, um, an article, right? An article that was written about myself um, in the Sun newspaper, or should I say the Scottish Sun newspaper, by a journalist called uh, Bill Leckie. Now, the reason why it's taken me a while to kind of respond to this article is because I want to get my facts right. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's fair to be coming on a platform and and, and talking about something when you haven't got your facts facts right. So I made sure I did that. Um, and it's something that I've just had enough of. I've had enough of it, to be fair. Um, and I'm just going to call it out for what I think it is and, and have that discussion. And hopefully Bill Leckie's watching this. And if he is, feel free to, to, to come and have a conversation with myself, come and do an interview with myself, email me personally, whatever. Let's let's talk about this because I'm not going to be out here trying to label you as anything, but I'm going to talk about how the language that you've, that you've used in your article and more importantly, how it's been able to be published at the Scottish Sun newspaper has affected me and how I perceive it to come across. So for those of you that don't know, I'm going to put up the article um, probably as I'm speaking now, I'll get Josh to edit that in, no problem. And basically, it's to do with me going on Sky Sports News. Now, first of all, I want to big up Sky Sports News um, and the producers at Sky. They've been massively supportive when this, I, they, they're the ones who actually brought this to my attention and told me what was that there was an article out there. And first of all, they don't agree with it. And, um, you know, I got their full support. They love having us on there um, from the United States and love having my views on there as a fan so on and so forth, which big up, big up to Sky. So that's that's the first thing I want to get out there. But basically, Mr. Leckie, Mr. Bill Leckie has, um, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Bill, correct me if I'm wrong, um, has taken uh, a disliking, there's no other way to put it, to seeing um, my face on Sky Sports News. And then he proceeds to write an article about it um, with an interesting mugshot in the corner. So there's, there's loads of things that I picked up from this article because... I think it's important to look at the whole thing and then come to a conclusion at the end once you've taken it all in. Um, so I read it the first time and then I thought, oh, typical, you know, media, mainstream media, maybe not enjoying fan content and don't believe it should live on Sky Sports, which, you know what, even though I disagree with that, I can have a conversation, you know, back in fans or why I think fan opinion is, is important within the mainstream, why I think times are moving on, why I think it's important that mainstream media intertwines with the YouTube world and fan content world and all the positives I think around that. And other people may think differently. That's a that's a conversation. That's a that's a disagreement or conflict of opinions. And we can talk that out. But as I read it the second time and the third time and the fourth time, I was like, Nah, the language in this doesn't sit right. And there could be some of you who are reading it now thinking, Flex, you know, this is racist, this is that, this is that. But I thought, let me just keep reading it, keep reading it. And I have to say, Bill, if you're watching, because I'm addressing it to you as well as the viewers who are watching this, I think the language you've used in there is absolutely disgusting from my point of view. And the way it's made me feel is if you're, is if you're basically saying someone who looks like me, who wears the clothes that I wear, um, doesn't deserve to have an opinion on Sky Sports News in a show that isn't there for me to claim to be breaking transfer news stories, isn't there that I'm talking to agents. None of it's ever been claimed to happen. So I think that's a really, I don't know, kind of negative way of looking at things. And not just negative. I've, I have to call it as it is, Bill, and correct me if I'm wrong. It feels like you just, you don't want people who look like me in that era, in that space. And not even just me, it could be, uh, I don't know. It, but actually, I'll draw some conclusions to actually what he said, yeah? D these are quotes, yeah? I'm just looking at it as, as we speak. Um, basically, Bill says, um, as I write this, there's a guy called Flex holding court on Sky Sports News. Okay, cool. Fact, I'm on there. He's wearing a Man U tracksuit. So the fact I'm wearing a tracksuit means my opinion is, I don't know. Less important or less relevant, uh, I'm, I'm assuming. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and he's talking on what's loosely billed as the transfer show like he's the Man United manager. So I'm talking like I'm like I'm Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. No harm to the dude, but he has no news to break on potential transfers, which is what I'm not there to do. I'm there to give my opinion on, fan, on fans um, and the club. And basically, 
I'm talking about how me as a Manchester United fan, in my opinion, and, you know, based on a lot of Manchester United fans that I speak to, we all want the best for Jesse Lingard because we want him to get a good move. But Bill's taken exception to that. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. Here's where it really gets interesting because what Bill actually goes on to call me, he said he's a DJ and social media junkie. Okay, Bill, I'm a DJ and social media junkie. So, okay, on my bio, Bill, which is, I would have, I would have thought, you know, being a great journalist that you are and a very well-respected journalist, one who's been in the game for a long time, you would have sourced what I claim to be. So on my bio, I am a BTEC ambassador and YouTuber. I didn't say anything about DJing. Now, it seems you might have done a bit of digging. I like my music and I used to be a DJ. Not that that should matter on what my football opinion is. But I wonder why you didn't put BTEC ambassador is on Sky Sports News um, having his say. Does that not fit the narrative that you want to put? You want to put, it seems like you're trying to put a narrative of Sky have just plucked a, a DJ from out of the club and asked him some football questions. When in reality, Bill, let me say this. I've been following Manchester United up and down the country, around the world for the best part of three and a half years now. And that doesn't make me a better fan than anyone else. Let me stress that. But what it does do is give me the right to an opinion on my football team. Yeah, on a club that I support. And that's what I've been asked to do. Any fan who consumes football or supports their team has a right to an opinion. Fact. But I just don't like the narrative you've used there. You know, the picture that you've used as well, to me, I'm going to say, it makes me like a, like a, like a convict. It looks like a criminal, like a little mugshot in the corner there. There's plenty of pictures you could have used. Maybe I'm being a bit pedantic with that, but this is how it's made me feel. Um, and I don't like it. You know, I feel like if you would have put, I feel like if you would have put, BTEC ambassador joined Sky to have his say on Manchester United. It wouldn't have fit the narrative you're trying to push. It wouldn't have fit it. Do you know what I mean? It's easy to put DJ and social media junkie as opposed to BTEC ambassador and YouTuber. Which one, which one sounds better? I'll leave you to, to decide that. Another thing I don't like as well, what Bill goes on to say, right, um, is he basically says that um, right after Flex comes another DJ who's an Arsenal fan whose name I can't be bothered to go um, to go and find, basically. And there was another guy on after me. It wasn't Robbie. Um, it was a it was another guy. I think he, I believe he's on Capital Extra as a DJ. Um, but again, he, he's, he's a white guy. You know, fair enough. He's a white guy. Um, but you couldn't be bothered to go and find his name. But all of us, you can be bothered to go and find what I do and 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 put put across what I do. I question that. I don't know why. I want some answers on that. But this is the real interesting bit for me. Bill goes on to say, what the funks guy? Um, outgo guys with a lifetime of real footballing experience like Charlie Nicholas, Phil Thompson and Matt Letizia, who actually know what goes on in a dressing room. Um, big respect to those guys, you know, big guys in football. And I don't know whether you're angry, Bill, at, at, at Sky for this because they've, they've changed the roster, but I don't remember sitting on the Soccer Saturday panel. You know, people that are on the soccer day, soccer Saturday panel, like like Clinton Morrison and and um, and Matt are on there doing their thing. They've they've been in dressing rooms. I'm not on there claiming I've been in the, in the Manchester United dressing room. But guess what? Neither is Phil Thompson. I follow Manchester United more than Phil Thompson does. I am emotionally invested into Manchester United way more than Phil Thompson does. I care about Manchester United way more than a Phil Thompson does or a Matt Letizia because they have their respected clubs. Now, yes, they can bring a different viewpoint because they're ex-players, you know, been in and around the, the managing situation and can give different opinions. But why does that make my opinion any less, Bill? That's what I don't get. Now, this is the bit that really got me, guys, and I'm going to be honest here. Bill goes on to say um, uh, they're replaced by a collection of box tickers. So Bill is, re is referring to me as a box ticker. So are you saying that I'm only on there to tick a box um, and not because what I have to say is of any substance. I feel like you're discrediting me, Bill. And the reason why I say that is because you have no idea what I've been doing in the last three and a half years. I've been in press conferences asking Ole Gunnar Solskjaer questions in an articulate manner and getting responses for the fans. And you know what I think this is, Bill? I just think it's journalistic snobbery and racial profiling. It's how it's made me feel. Now, feel free to come and set this straight. 
I don't know if you're going to offer an apology. I don't know how you're going to come back. You might even just ignore this, Bill. But I'm not going to stay silent. I'm sick to death of seeing things, undertones, little undercurrents. Um, I'm kind of being bashed with a stick to say your, your opinion is not relevant in this space. Who are you to say that? I feel like it's journalistic, snob um, journalistic snobbery. I feel like, is it, is it, are you threatened by what I'm doing? Because I'm not, I'm not threatened that you're going to come on into the YouTube space, start a channel, start a podcast, and and take my, you know, mojo or something like that. Do you feel threatened? Is that what it is? But to say that, you know, I'm just a box ticker, I think that's mad hurtful. I'm going to be honest, because basically you're saying that my opinion as a black guy, I'm going to say it how I feel. I'm not calling you a racist, but what I'm saying is, is the language you've used has made me feel that as a black person as a black male in this particular instance is not relevant because I'm a box ticker. I'm only there because Sky want to tick a box. That's what you're saying. And that's how it's made me feel. I think it's a disgrace to be perfectly honest with you. And I'm calling it out for what it is. I've had enough. Um, also what, what, what Bill goes on to say, which I find really surprising or maybe not surprising actually, off the back of a summer where their presenters lecture does hourly on racial equality. Okay, so basically you're saying because Sky have, have lectured you, Bill, sorry they've, they've kept you um, up at night, sorry they've taken up so much of your time boring you in a lecture um, about racial equality. My God, we, sh we, sh we shouldn't be talking about that, should be Bill. Um, if, you, if, if I wasn't sure of how Bill meant that bit, he then says it's all getting a tad tedious. Now, I know um, Oxford Dictionary Guru built, but tedious means boring, means, you know, drawn out, means it takes a bit long. So is what are you saying is tedious here? That there's racial equality on your screen? Question mark, Bill. Are you saying that someone who looks like me, who sounds like me, who wears a tracksuit like me um, is tedious? You know, off the back of a summer where presenters lectured us hourly, lectured us. So because Sky presenters have raised awareness about racial equality, you're taking that as a lecture, which I think says more about where we are in society and more about yourself than it does me. Um, and then you're then saying that it's all getting a bit tedious. Well, I'm sorry, Bill, that you feel that way. I'm sorry that you're bored of seeing someone who looks like me on a TV. I'm sorry that you want it to be Charlie Nicholas and Phil Thompson and Matt Letizia. I really am sorry, but guess what, my friend? The media landscape is changing. And I think people like yourself, with all due respect, with articles like this, are showing exactly why people who look like me, sound like me, dress like me, are continually getting into this space and not taking no for an answer. Because of articles like this. The language that's used in it. You know, Bill, if you would have come and said, there is a... A con there was a contributor on Sky Sports News by the name of Flex, who is a Manchester United YouTuber, given his opinion. And then you went on to say, I don't think that the YouTube lives in this space. We can have a conversation about that. But Bill, when you start talking about what I wear, what I used to do, I used to be a DJ in my spare time. Another thing, Bill, that really, that really pissed me off, really annoyed me, excuse my language. You're talking about, because uh, I used to be a DJ, that's, you know, people who know me or, you know, I don't know how you found that out, actually, because it's not something I talk about all the time. Um, but since you're doing background checks, I used to be a school teacher as well for special needs education. Does that fit your narrative? Why are you not putting ex special needs teacher, ex behavior manager? Don't fit your narrative, does it, Bill? So I think you've been really selective about what you've chose to put in that article. It's your right to have an opinion. It's your right to, to express your feelings on, you know, Sky's broadcasting roster. That's fine. But when you want to include me in it and put my picture in your column, uh, a, 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 a not so flattering picture, as I may say, it's not, my, it's not my best picture. I'm a good looking guy. Do you know what I mean? It's not my best picture, Bill. You tried to do me dirty on that one. But when you want to do that and then talk about what I'm wearing as if that's relevant, talk about racial equality as being boring and tedious. Talk about I'm a DJ and a box ticker and a social media junkie. When you want to use this, this, this type of terminology and language 
you have to expect this response from me. And I want to say this, not just to you, Bill, but to any of the mainstream watching. And like I say, big up to Sky. And big up to a lot of other journalists. I've got a lot of journalists, people that I know and respect, and they've they've kind of questioned this space because they're not used to it. You know, big up Simon Peach, big up James Cooper, big up Jordan Jarrett, big up Hugh Woosencroft, big up Adi Oladipo, you know, big up JD Dyer, big up Jess Crichton, big up Emma Payton, all the, all the guys at Sky, big up Dave. Um, there's there's this big up Darren Lewis. There is there is this you know schema that like the the YouTubers are coming to infiltrate and take our jobs. That's how it feels. It feels like you guys are so threatened. And I say you guys. I think journalists who hold this opinion about fan content or people like myself being on a on a on a on a page like Sky Sports News on a platform like Sky Sports News. There's so much snobbery in it. It's almost like you feel threatened. Well, guess what? We're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep being on your screens. I'm going to keep using this platform because also this could have happened how many years back? And this would have just gone under the carpet. I could have chose to say nothing about this. This hasn't made national news. I don't necessarily want it to. But guess what? We've got a voice now, Bill, and I'm not just going to let things slide like this. I've had enough. So for me, um, I think it's really interesting with some of the language that you've used. And for me, the fact that you can speak about racial equality and call it tedious tells me everything I need to know about your opinions on racial equality. Um, and I say racial equality because it's quotes there in front of me. He says racial equality, let alone equality in general, Bill, because if you think about it, what, do you not want to see, uh, I don't know, uh, a woman, uh, a disabled person, uh, an Asian person, any other minority? I don't know. I don't know what you're insinuating there. Maybe you can clear that up for me. Um, but I had had my say on this because you guys know me, right? I'm a very, I got, I got thick skin. I got very thick skin. And I understand that you need, you need thick skin if you're going to put yourself out there to the world to have an opinion on. And I have no problem with people critiquing um, or having a, even a negative opinion on what you do. They might not like your content. Completely fine. If Bill would have done an article saying, oh, I don't think that Flex speaks very well. I don't think he, you know, has a, a good football knowledge. Or, we can talk about that. But when you want to start racially profiling, no, 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 that can't run. That can't run. I conduct myself with the highest amount of integrity. Yeah. I might not conduct myself like a, a seasoned journalist because guess what? I'm not a seasoned journalist, but I conduct myself and make sure I conduct myself with respect. Do you know what I mean? Um, on my platforms. And I have worked my ass off. Yeah. This hasn't been given to me from a, from a box ticking point of view. I've worked my ass off. You don't know my journey. I've worked my ass off to get myself into arenas where I'm in press conferences, traveling the world, making content behind the scenes, showing, bringing Manchester United fans far and wide closer to the action off my own back. I was working in a school, driving up the M6, getting back at half four in the morning, going back, going to school to work at half six in the morning before I was doing this full time. You don't know my grind. You don't know my graph. You don't know my backstory. How dare you come on here and accuse me of being a box ticking social media junkie? Because let's face it, Bill, that's what you've done. You can dress it up. And I know you said, you know, fair play to the dude. And listen, Bill, if I'm if I'm getting this completely wrong, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to have a conversation with you, a phone call, an email, a text, an interview on this very channel. If you would like to, Bill, and talk about these things. But I think this is highlighting to me why education is the key, because another thing I want to touch on is how the hell has this been passed within the Scottish Sun newsroom, whoever makes the decisions to say, this is all right. This is a good story. This is a good article. This is a good piece from a well-respected journalist from what I read, Bill. You've been in the game a long time. Who at the Sun, Scottish Sun sport has okayed this? Because in my opinion, that's everything that's wrong with, with society as well. We talk about representation at the highest level. And I spoke about it on Sky, ironically, Bill. Sorry to, to be tedious. Um, but I said, until there's reputation, representation at a high level, we're going to continue to see things like this. Because I guarantee you, if there was more representation high up, somebody in that room reads that article and goes, Bill, I think you should rewrite this, fella. Yeah, go rewrite that, pal. Yeah, it's got a bit of racial racial undertones in there, pal. Yeah, I think you should think you should look at that. Not 
Yeah, put it out. Listen, the people at the sun might not think they've done anything wrong at the Scottish, the Scottish sun. Might not think they've done anything wrong. Might never see this video. Might choose to not watch it. Might choose to ignore it. If they do, it just shows exactly what's wrong in this in this society. And the reason why I'm talking about this is obviously one because it's me in the article, um, but two is to I feel like I've got a duty now. There's we've been silenced for so long. There's been so many times where I don't want to talk about things that are to do with racism because you get accused of playing the race card. You get accused of having a chip on your shoulder. Not anymore. Call a spade a spade, you know? Call a spade a spade, my friends. And I'm not having it anymore. When I read that, I, like I said, I read it the first time and I laughed and I thought, typical mainstream media getting scared. And I can admit this, guys. I could be vulnerable on here. I can open up on here. I was really hurt. I was proper hurt when I read it for the fifth or sixth time because I thought, he's basically saying, because I look the way I do, dress the way I do, talk the way I do, and my background of DJing, he's basically saying my opinion's worthless. That's that's how you've made me feel, Bill. That's my opinion on how you've made me feel. I don't need to come on here shouting and swearing and calling you a racist and stuff because I don't know if you are a racist. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the way you've made me feel by the language you've used in the article that you've written has made me feel crap. For the first time, it affected me. And I can admit that. And I thought, nah, I can't let this happen. And you get this thing of he's not using his real name as well. I want to touch on this. You know, his name's Flex. You know, Jim White did it. Jim White did it when um, I was actually talking about Raheem Sterling and Marcus Rashford and the great work they've been doing to raise awareness with what's going on. And the way Jim White pronounced my name, he went, YouTuber, Flex. Now, listen, Jim might have meant nothing by it, but I took that a bit like kind of laughing at the name. Hold on a minute. On Soccer AM, yeah, when you got Tubes and Rocket on there, big up those two. Rocket's not on there anymore, but big up. I like them guys a lot. Interviewing players. I'm not seeing people writing articles or writing, writing and saying, I think it's a disgrace that you've got someone interviewing footballers under the false pretense name of Tubes and Rocket. It's banter, though, isn't it? It's fine when they do it. This is what you've got to talk about. You've got to talk about the consistent energy that's been put out or the inconsistent energy that's been put out. All of a sudden now, I go by my, what was my DJ name, ironically, Flex. It's a problem because you don't, you don't use his real name. Can't be taken seriously. Landscape's changing. And sometimes it's all right for some people to do it like I said, in the name of Tubes and Rocket, and no disrespect to those guys, I think what they do is absolutely dope. And they've proved they've proved that there they can be a fun element to it. But get used to it, guys. Get used to it. Stage names, whatever. Get used to it. Because one thing is I'm not going anywhere. I look, I look at the people in the media like Troy Deeney, Micaiah Richards, Clinton Morrison, Darren Bent, um, Andy Cole even now, obviously, is doing his thing. I look at Hugh Wozencroft, I look at um, Jordan Jarrett, I look at Adi Aladipo, I look at JD Dye, I look at Jess Crichton. All young, black, aspiring journalists or media uh, pers uh, personalities doing their thing. I'm big up to anyone I may have left off. There's so many of us doing it now. And I'm proud. I'm proud that, I, that someone like me can inspire the, the next generation coming through. There's going to be young, there's young kids who watch what I do, who watch what we do and see us on Sky Sports. Do you understand, Bill, how inspiring that is to them? Have you taken a, have you taken a minute to sit back and think, imagine what, what that must be doing for, for, for young black boys and girls around the world, around the country, who see someone like Flex on there, who, 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 are, who are fans as well, go, wow, that's crazy. Like, it can be done. Have you ever taken a moment to think that? And no disrespect as well, I'm just going to say it as it is. These young kids coming up don't all, because some do, and some are going to university and going the traditional route to be traditional journalists and big up to those kids. But have you not thought there's some kids who want to be the next me? Don't want to be the next writer in the sun or the next writer in the Daily Mail or the next anchor on Sky Sports News. They want to be a YouTuber. They want to be a content creator. Have you taken a moment to think of that? You probably haven't. It's a rhetorical question, to be fair. So, yeah, I've had my say on it, guys. And look, I won't be silenced. I won't be, you know, changing up what I do because of fear of backlash. And listen, if you're offended by this video, 
well, please don't be if you're, if, if you're not racist. You know, th this is only, I'm addressing Bill, Bill Lecky, and I'm addressing anybody in the media who's watching this and kind of hasn't thought about the, the language that they're using and the impact it can have, whether you mean it like that or you 100% do. Am I naive to, to think that these type of views aren't out there and there aren't people out there who definitely stand by this and say, damn right, you shouldn't be on there. Flipping got a tracksuit on and a cap. Used to be a DJ. Who's he think he is? Of course, there's people like that. 100%. However, there's some people out there who are using this terminology out of way of, of um, common practice, you know, and routine and repetition over years and years and years of, of journalism. And sometimes it takes to listen to something like this of how it makes people like me feel when you use certain language like that. That's all I want to do is raise awareness. Now, Bill... I'll leave you with this, my friend. If you watch this, I hope that you respond. I'm not asking for an apology. That's, you know, that's that's up to you. I, I don't really care if you apologize or not. Um, and I don't really care if you respond or not. If you do, fantastic. We can have a conversation about it. I'm not one of these people, these ignorant people that I'm just going to come on here and F what you say and I don't care. I'd love to have a conversation about this so we can actually stop it happening again because that's what I'm out here to do is... I've experienced this quite a few times. I've had this written about me. It made me feel shit, but I don't want another person to have to feel like that. So hopefully you do respond. But if you don't, if the sun, you don't respond, cool. It, is, it just shows that we're not willing to have these conversations. And this is why people like myself will keep badgering on and keep being a tad tedious in the words of Bill Lecky. Yeah. And to you guys watching this who... I've been thinking about trying to start your own podcast or trying to make it into the mainstream and you think you're getting knocked down. Do not let things like this stop you. You can be whatever you want to be in whatever space you want to be. Do not let anyone tell you that you're not worthy to be in a certain space because of the way. And this isn't just I'm talking about black people. I'm talking about if you're a female, um, dependent, whatever your sexual orientation is whatever your religion is, whatever your appearance is, whatever your disability or ability is in anything, do not let anyone tell you you do not belong in a certain space. You bash down that door and keep bashing it down. Do not let people tell you that you can't be this and you can't be that and to pigeonhole yourself and say, you should just live here. No, enough's enough, man. Enough's enough. So I've had my say on it, guys. Big up for the support. Please like the video. Um, for all the idiots who will come out here and try and talk nonsense, this video has been demonetized because I just want to get the word out there. I don't care about that adver advertisements and stuff like that. Um, please share this video because I want people to see it. I'm going to be sharing it with a lot of industry people I know within within there um, to try and raise awareness because I want this to be seen by the Sun Sports in Scotland. Um, I want this to be seen by Bill Lecky. Hopefully we can get a response from them. And if not, hopefully we just create noise and show these people that we ain't going anywhere, ain't having it anymore. Had my say, um, and we'll see where we go um, from there. Thanks for watching, people. Seamus had to come to that, um, but I had to get it off my chest, and I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to keep doing what I'm going to do, keep smiling, keep breaking down barriers, and to all you lot supporting me um, and and everyone in this space, we appreciate it, man. We ain't going anywhere. Anyway, I'm off, I'm off to enjoy my day. I've got content to, to do. Uh, so, yeah, big up Bill Leckie. Thanks for bringing that to my attention and thanks for hi just highlighting how far we still got to go in society to scrub out certain views and opinions, my friend. Big up, bro.